using you for the money on the top. Eight figures. Eight figures. Okay, so that's ten million dollars. Men don't need women. Women need men. Men are being attacked everywhere around the world for anything that they do. Whether it's money or having preferences in dating, anything that men do is a problem. These men aren't being appreciated enough for the work they are putting in to keep the world running. Instead, they are being shamed and being called broke for not making enough money, and as a result, they become invisible to women. I'm using you for the money on the top. Why you got that shit on? I'm seeking validation. We in a relationship. Fuck this relationship, Mike. This woman is so unappreciative of what this man is doing for her and himself. I'm sure some women would appreciate having a man like this, but let's take a look at the comments. See things like this make it hard for women that actually appreciate what a man can bring to the table. How do y'all be finding girls like thisable? That ain't no real woman cause a real woman would accept what a real man bring to the table. At least he got a job most dudes of this generation just want to get quick money and live the fast life. Just ungrateful. You pay all the FING bills. That is not enough. I'm sorry for the actual good woman out there because this little girl makes y'all look bad. Hey, Kiki. Kiki, listen to me. Shut the fuck up. Hi, guys. Just a daily reminder that I ain't never seen a man that I need, bitch. You're all replaceable. Don't ever get too comfortable and don't ever think otherwise. You're a guest in this household and you can be kicked out just as quickly as you were welcomed in. Thank you. You probably guessed it already. But the reason why this woman is saying this is because her heart was broken by a man. And as a result, she became angry at all men. Girls like her are the reason I stopped dating and I thank them. Most women I encounter have this mentality and it was for the best that I avoid them. It turns out it was I who didn't a woman. I feel very sorry for that girl. What a painful way to live. My now ex-husband and I divorced two years ago. I am not proud of it. We both had issues and made mistakes. We left off on good terms though. From it I learned you have the power to choose to be a happy and positive person. I also learned how to be more understanding and listen. I don't need a man philosophy. I don't need a man. I don't need a man that's been indoctrinated into young women. The reason for that is that in many cases, men have been reduced to a wallet. So women are having these conversations about men and they're saying, well, I have a job. I have financial stability, so I don't need a man for that. And what they're forgetting about is all of the other things that guys bring to the table. You know, that shoulder to cry on. They're forgetting about that sense of union when times get Get tough they're forgetting about someone you know starts breaking into your home and you're you don't want to handle that situation you want your protector guy to handle that situation let's be honest they're forgetting about well i'm going to want kids and i'm going to want my kid to have a father men don't need women women need men men could survive without women if all the women disappeared tomorrow men would be fine outside of reproduction women need men if tomorrow they made artificial wombs what would they need a woman for who's a better companion men or women so men built the world all the hard jobs are done by men mm -hmm. if we if men disappear tomorrow they, society would collapse men built the world that we complain about yeah, arguably one of the driving forces for men doing what they do is women is women mm -hmm. companionship I think men build this world for women hey, what i'm saying is men could survive mm -hmm. without yeah, women because men can be alone women can't women are social beings we need attention and men men don't you don't see women going out to the woods and just roughing it that's a man thing <laughs> yeah. who's camping and fishing it's not us how much money should your man make a year heather eight figures eight figures okay so that's 10 million dollars yeah. how much do you want your man to make I would like, yeah, like a successful entrepreneur who is making more money than me. The minimum baseline minimum. is six-figure man. Minimum. Yeah. You guys are comfortable with being delusional. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not delusional. I've dated a guy whose house was eight figures. Have you ever done, dated a guy who makes $10 million a year? Oh, please. I've dated brokies. Now, if that guy makes $10, 20000000 million a year, how comfortable would you be if he cheated on you every once in a while? Not all the time, but once a year. Heather, I love you, baby, but I'm going on a business trip. 
by the way, I made $10 million this year. You like your G-Wagon that you're driving. I mean, you like the mansion. That's how it is. That I see. So you're okay I do, with that. I agree that is how it is. But Ooh. there's, you know, it's... There's a payoff for everything. So you are comfortable with it. If I'm driving a G-Wagon, I'd rather, I'd rather <laughs> cry in a G-Wagon. This is just sad. This woman would feel comfortable with a man cheating on her just because he is making more money. There is no love in that relationship. It sounds like a business to me. This is why I say women are as loyal as their options. She even said it. there's a payoff. She's waiting for those divorce papers and monthly payments. Effing despicable. You need a wife that'll be there for you whether you're making eight figures or five figures. Cause if she's there for the G-Wagon and mansion she doesn't love anything but your wallet. I've lost my home, my money, all my material possessions and my wife still stood by me. Now that I have abundance, we are still together and I know for a fact it has nothing to do with assets. So I'm super annoyed right now because this light went out. How am I supposed to get to this light? This woman prefers to live in the dark instead of calling for help. This is just ignorance to me, but we all know she actually did call for help in the end. There's no way this strong independent woman would sleep in the dark. Mm -hmm.